Today, we have two recipes for the traditional Chinese dumpling called siu mai. Before we do our recipes, let's check out a famous Chinese restaurant to see how they show off theirs. Today, we're at Chef Tony's. We're going to try their dim sum. This restaurant has won a lot of awards. It's pretty famous locally. So we're going to enjoy some dim sum today. Oh, look at these, look at these. So these are the uh, pork and prawn uh, siu mai with uh, black truffle topping. That's a special touch there. Oh, I actually touched it. Look at this dumpling. This is the uh, pork and prawn uh, siu mai with uh, black truffle. That's a nice touch. Mmm. Is that ever tasty? It's got the uh, moist, uh, savory filling with the uh, prawn and pork. So I would say this actually is one of the best dim sum places in our area here. No, 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 not much. So that's the uh, pork and prawn uh, siu mai with the uh, black truffle. Why, ma? Now it's time to do our versions of the famous siu mai, traditional Chinese dumpling. Tell us what you think and what are your favorite uh, ingredients for your siu mai. To start, we're going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch into a large bowl. And then we're going to add one pound of ground pork. Then you add six to eight tiger prawns. Just chop them up into small pieces. We're going to add two to three tablespoons of Chinese oyster sauce. And then we'll add a teaspoon of sesame oil. And then we'll add two to three tablespoons of regular light soy sauce. Oh, good, good. Now mix up all the ingredients together using a spoon or a pair of chopsticks. Break one egg into the bowl. The egg will act as a binder to hold all the ingredients together. To hold the dumplings, we're using these dumpling wrappers. You can also use the wonton wrappers. Even the square ones where you just cut off the corners. For each dumpling, you just need to put one to two tablespoons of the filling. So put the filling in the middle of the wrapper. As you turn the dumpling, tuck in the little folds until you complete the entire dumpling. Now give the middle of the dumpling a little squeeze and using a spoon just tap the top of the dumpling to make sure all the ingredients are inside. You can use truffle to top each dumpling but a cheaper alternative is to use chopped carrot. You can use a bamboo steamer to steam your dumplings, but if you don't have one, just use a tray such as this one. It's important to have lots of water inside the steamer pot, so make sure the temperature is on high. You want lots of hot steam as you steam your dumplings. So just cover your dumplings with the lid. We're gonna let the dumplings steam for about eight to 10 minutes. Have a look here. There you have it, pork and prawn siu mai dumplings. Enjoy. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Mmm, was that ever tasty? So this is just the uh, pork and prawn siu mai. This is more or, uh, more or less the standard whether you serve in the Chinese restaurants. Mm. Now we're gonna do a fancy version of this recipe using quail eggs. So bring some water to a boil, medium high heat. So the quail eggs only need to be boiled for about 45 seconds. So when you take off the quail eggs, add some ice cubes to the water to make sure the eggs stop cooking. Just to let you know, the quail eggs are very delicate, so they take extra time to peel. So build that into your schedule and make a hole in the center of the dumpling. Put the quail egg in the middle and top it up with some chopped carrot.
for it. Huh. So these ones have been in about eight minutes. So we're just gonna break the uh, yolk and see what it looks like inside. See, oh, nice and runny. Look at that, look at that. Wow, look at that. The egg yolk is slightly runny. Can't really see it there, but. Mmm, mmm. Some of the egg yolk ended up on the floor, but boy, is that ever juicy. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. Thanks for checking out my video and please give me a thumbs up and be sure to check out some of my other videos on this channel and please subscribe. If you get a chance, check out my other channel, the award-winning Chinese cooking channel.